Hi guys, welcome to another episode made by Mr. Mouse, which is me. And today we shall um read a book that is called A Kid of Their Own by Megan Dowd Lambert, illustrated by Jessica Lanan. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And voila! Please like and subscribe. Woo! A kid of their own. Cocky doo doo doo! A new day was dawning at sunrise form, and Clyde was in the thick of it. Good morning, Sunrise Farm. You raised a crowbar with that wake-up call, Clyde. An utterly glorious start out to the day. What a big help your crow is, praised Robita. Aw, oh, shucks. Clyde basked in the glowing, in the glow of everyone's appreciation and settled in for a day of resting his voice and little light reading, but suddenly he was interrupted. Meet Rody and Fran, Farmer Jay began. We can't even have enough of enough cheese, explained Farmer Kevin. And now we can make more! Ma! Now, now there's a wild and woolly one. He is looking at you, kid. Ma! 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 I hope it's not too cheesy to say I'm very glad you're here. Meh, not at all. I'm, I'm moved by your warm welcome. Isn't this wonderful? Gushed Robita. As he watched the kid trip tra trapping about Clyde, wasn't so sure. Robert has always taken him under her wing, and now she, more than anyone else, seemed charmed by Rody horsing beyond the barnyard with jealous resolve. Clyde hatched a plan to recapture her attention with an extra special crow at dawn. As the sun peeked over the hillside, the next day, a determined Clyde assumed his position up top. The coop opened his beak and cock a dude dance! Louder than ever, now with more noise, new and improved. What? Clyde sputtered. <coughs> oh dear, exclaimed Robita. You woke up rowdy, Clyde. Clyde's feathers were roughed. His waddled wobbled. But I didn't even finish, he protested. I always end with the do. Well, maybe you should Tone it down for the kid's sake, Robita fretted. And with that, she went to help Fran, leaving a dismayed Clyde in her wake. Even 
though Clyde had a beak, his nose was out of joint. He did not tone it down. Instead, he crowed his crow, not only at daybreak, but whenever Rody was resting in the barn. Cock a doodle do! Oh my! Gasped Farmer Jay. Change is hard," said Farmer Kevin. It's fair to say Clyde was getting Fran's goat with. She came to call his mating crow. I'm just doing my job," huffed up Croaky Clyde. When he saw everyone huddled around Rody, but his right toneness quickly faded when he heard the others' comments. Clyde's really milking it for all it's worth. Oh say, Clyde will get hoarse if he keeps this up. It's too bad. This kid needs sleep. Clyde was birthed, not about the barnyard, until Rovita, who was nothing if not a mother goose, finally took him back under her wing. There, there, Clyde, she soothed. It's hard when the chickens come home to roost. A sheepish Clyde swallowed his pride, like so much chicken feed. Would you help me talk to Fran? He asked. Absolutely, agreed Robert. Um, excuse me, Fran and Rody. Clyde started. Yes, Fran answered gruffly, ashamed of his foul behavior. Clyde was at loss for words. You can do it, Clyde. And then a sleepy shake of Rody flopped eared head spurred the rooster into action. Back at the coop, he wrung made through a special occasion's costume box. Aha! The earmuffs were an. Impulse purchase that Clyde had regretted until now. You gotta be kidding! Now they don't quite fit me," acknowledged Clyde, "but they, but they're as good as new, and Rowdy can wear them to block out my morning crow." Fran remuned on the idea. I suppose we could give it a try," she conceded. Wonderful. No, they're not for eating, my sweet," corrected Fran. And the next morning, cock-a-doodle-doo. Slowly, there we go. Everyone except Rody stretched and entered the barnyard. Looks like my plan worked," called Clyde. "Yes," comforted Fran. "He's fast asleep, thanks to those earmuffs of yours. They're his now, and I'm awfully sorry, Fran." Clyde apologized. "I was a perfect troll to you." Water under the bridge," accepted Fran, "and I'm sorry too." Way to smooth things over, friends. Here, here. There's a place at the stable for everyone. The more, the merrier. And that's how Clyde joined everyone in welcoming Fran and Rowdy, just in time for the farmers to bring home a kid of their own. Look who 
who's here? It's Riley's adoption day. Gaki do do do. Riley, meet our animal friends. D and Well, that was awesome, guys. Anyways, bye guys. Please like and subscribe. The likes are here and the and the subscribe button is here. Well, if they show up. <laughs> and they might be opposite. <laughs> Anyways, please like and subscribe and comment down below. What is your favorite um, book? And please, 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 please subscribe. Or else I won't be able to make these awesome, awesome videos.